Hello everyone. Alexander has some problem today with the internet, so I introduce us. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to everyone. Welcome everyone to our monthly Jerusalem meditation from the Hechal group and from the 2025 initiative. We are joining forces to work subjectively for Jerusalem and through it for our planet. After the recent Israeli elections, when we look into the aura of Jerusalem, we feel a heavy load over the city. It seems that uh, we must expect now more violence, more corruption, more erosion of democracy. But of course, this is not very different from many other places all over the world. So, so we don't feel a need to go into the details. We all know that the outer happenings are symptoms that we should recognize but not dwell upon. Because our job as the world group is to, to learn to become causal, to work with the subtle forces that are underlying and preceding the outer events. We learn to work as a magnet, no matter what. We learn to, we, we learn the science of evocation and invocation. DK wrote, the spirit of peace is hovering close to humanity, seeking opportunity to make his presence felt. And he also said that it will take a united act of the will of humanity as a whole to open the door for this redeeming presence. How do we actually open this door? So we start with looking inside our own selves for what already resonates with this high quality. Getting in touch with it in our own inner stillness. And it's our inner experience of the quality of peace, which will determine the value, the quality of our contribution to the whole. So let's just take a moment to touch into our inner sense of peace, our inner spirit of peace. And from this place, let us join together and become kind of a peace magnet. It's our task as the world group to connect with humanity's cry for peace and focus it and form it into a united, invocative appeal. And then to direct this mighty planetary invocative cry upwards towards the spirit of peace. So we set up a line of contact between the negative and the positive pole, between humanity and the spirit of peace. 
and we hold it steady through rhythmic, dynamic, consistent application of intent. It's this line of intent that we keep along which the energy can flow. The science of invocation and evocation is really very much needed now in this present world crisis. And uh, decay has given us many tools for it, but we are not very trained yet in it. So today, let's try to apply it, this act of evocation and invocation on this arena of Jerusalem as an experiment. In our perception, as the group working with Jerusalem for many years, Jerusalem, as the city of peace, has a special relationship with the spirit of peace. There seems to be a vortex, an ancient channel, going right through the Temple Mount in the old city into the earth. And of course, many layers of violent history have overshadowed, are uh, clogging this channel. And we offer ourselves to help open it again. So now in meditation, let's try this out. And later, we can share our impressions. We will close the meditation with a uh, with, um, great invocation in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. And I would like to ask Desha, could you recite today the meditation in English? Maybe Desha cannot unmute herself. Happy to do that, Uta. Oh, very nice. With the uh, with uh, three ohms in the end, yes? Okay. Thank you, Desha. Okay. So let's prepare for meditation. Let us withdraw our attention inwards to a place of perfect stillness. Breathing deeply. Grounding in the solidity of the body. In the earth. In the embrace of the mother of the world. Wholeness, peace, letting this peace fill our whole being. And joining together now, visualizing ourselves entering the aesthetic temple of the Jerusalem Meditation Project, somewhere in the aura of Jerusalem.
taking our places within it. Joining our hearts. Joining our thinking. Holding this telepathic field. And joining together as souls in perfect geometrical order. We are a power station, serene and focused. And we are part of the great network of many spiritual groups around the planet. Connecting now as a unit to our higher co-workers who support and guide the Jerusalem project, human and Deva. Let us take a moment to feel their guiding and protecting presence with us as real as we can. Standing at our position at the midway point between the higher world and Jerusalem below, Turning now as a group, our attention upwards towards the spirit of peace, tuning, tuning upwards into this energy, this quality over lighting the city, releasing all else. We take a few minutes.
Refocusing now at the midway point between the higher world and Jerusalem below. Filling our group field with peaceful, silent will. Looking down now into the aura of Jerusalem, And let us open our awareness to the cry for peace of the citizens of all colors, Jews, Arabs, secular, religious, Easterners, Westerners, left wing, right wing. sense the cry for peace of all citizens. And as a group, let us lift it and bundle it into one united invocative cry. One common force. And let us direct this cry now upwards towards the spirit of peace. Spirit of peace, come. Visualize an electric current from the spirit of peace coming down onto the Temple Mount 
and threw it into the earth. Holding this line from the spirit of peace into the temple mount and threw it into the earth. Visualize this high energy being picked up by those citizens of Jerusalem who stand as pillars of light in the turmoil. We stand behind them. See the electric current Strengthen and protect them. And see them like lighthouses broadcasting the energy of peace into their fields of influence all over the city. See little Deva builders help weave it into the aura of Jerusalem, unifying, making whole. See the aura of Jerusalem glow with warm golden light. And we affirm unity. The souls of all are one. And we are one with them. We seek to love, not hate. We seek to serve and not exact your service. We seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring due reward of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love which underlies the happenings of the time. Let vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and outer cleavages be gone. Let love prevail. Let all humans love.
Let the spirit of peace be spread abroad. Visualize a golden unifying wave spread out from Jerusalem into the whole of Israel, Palestine. Making hearts golden, lifting minds into unity consciousness. See the golden wave spread into the nations of the Middle East, unifying and reordering. Expanding eastwards, qualifying the etheric body of the planet We visualize a golden band connecting Jerusalem with Darjeeling. Tracing the band further from Darjeeling to Tokyo. And further to New York. to London and Geneva. And back to Jerusalem. Visualize the unifying wave continue to flow throughout the etheric body of the planet as we recite the great invocation in Hebrew, Arabic, and English. ירד האור אל דעת האדם, זרום האור על פני האדם. היא נקודת האהבה אשר בלב האל, זרום האהבה אל לבבות אנוש. ישוב מורה עולם על פני האדמה. מן המרכז שבו נודע רצון האל, תנחה תכלית את רצונות אדם. תכלית אותה מורי האנושות יודעים ומשרתים. מן המרכז אשר נקרא המין האנושי, הוגשם תוכנית האהבה והאור, ויחתם הפתח אל הרע. יהי רצון. ויחדשו אור, אהבה ועוצמה את התוכנית על פני האדמה. من نقطة الحب في القلب الإلهي ليتسرب الحب لقلوب الناس وليرجع السيد الآتي للأرض من المركز الذي تعرف منها إرادة الله لتقود الغاية إرادة الناس البسيطة تلك الغاية التي يدركها المعلمون ويخدمونها من المركز الذي ندعون بالجنس البشري لينتج تسمين الحب والنور 
ويختم على الباب الذي يقيم به الشر ليجدد النور والحب والقوة التسمين على الأرض from the point of light within the mind of God. Let light stream forth into human minds. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into human hearts. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide all human wills. The purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call humanity, let the plan of love and light work out. And may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Thank you, friends, for this work together. So let us share our impressions, our new experiences and our questions.
and raise your hand. Whoever would like to share, so Alexander can unmute you. Margot has raised her hand. Yes, this is Margot from Canada. As the energies descended, it was as if they hit something hard, like a, like a, a wave, a big wave in the ocean that crashes on the on the uh, beach. And there was resistance. But as that energy pulled back like a wave and rose up again, it became fire. And this time, as it descended into the city, these little rivulets of fire were finding their way through the, the resistance. And lighting up the citizens that were standing in service of the city. And then the fire became air and this air moved throughout Israel and Palestine. and around the world, lighting up these centers of fire. And back to Jerusalem. This is Andrea from the United States, and um, I had a similar image um, as Margo. Um, but when there was that collective cry that we sort of pushed up into the field of the spirit of peace, there was a sense that that was collected and made into a stitch within a tapestry. And then from that point, there was this flow of energy that took on, for me, this image of an auger. And it came right down into the center of those hills. And it did not find resistance in its powerful auger-like spiraling, digging motion. But it found what came into my head as a well. And when it hit that well, it released a flood of, it was water, but it wasn't. It, they were water devas. And those devas then permeated throughout all, all of Jerusalem and the city in a way that came to mind that they were, they were quenching the thirst of Jerusalem. And then th those water devas took on that golden fluid type of substance. And that is what was then subsequently spread as we collectively watched that golden flow encircle the world. It was as if that liquid was cleansing or bringing purity. Thank you, Andrea. What is auger? An auger is a is sort of a, a piece of a tool that goes sometimes on the end of a drill, and it is it has a, a spiral shape to it. And when you use it, it digs into the ground. I I use it to plant bulbs in the fall, and it creates a very powerful hole in the ground. Um, okay. okay, thanks.
and this is a flag from Jerusalem. Um, I think maybe because I'm here now this time, um, and the tension here is so uh, heavy and, and intense, I don't know if it has to do with this, but I think it's influenced my experience in the meditation that it was very difficult to bring the spirit of peace and the higher force and the higher light really down to earth and to the people here. Um, but when we all uh, gather our call or our crying, uh, it helped a bit and uh, there was kind of um, presence from the spirit of peace that uh, in spite of all uh, is, is um, in a way uh, don't give up this place or in spite of all it's it's eternal the connection between spirit of peace and Jerusalem so uh, thank you Hmm. This is Mark in Sarasota. Thank you, Efrat, for being there. And our Jerusalem friends that are living there in the middle of all of this, it's hard to imagine day after day waking up to that tension um, and yet you're there i will resonate very much with the connecting which we were guided to do heart to heart of our group this is very important i believe for me it's very important to have the sense of love and community and stability doing this very important work it seems subtle in some ways yet it's rhythmic projection of the spirit of peace throughout the regions and then throughout the world for many years now is a great gift i can feel the master's appreciation for this and when I look at the beautiful uh, image on the screen, I remember my days in the old city overlooking the Kotal, the Wailing Wall, the Western Wall, and the courtyard, and the men praying on one side facing the Kotal, and the women on the, on, on the right side you can hear them faintly praying in Hebrew. And then the sun setting and the mosque sounding the call to worship. And as the stones turn to gold, the bells from the churches ring forth, bringing the picture together into a true unity. That is the holiest moment that I've experienced, really, I think. In, in my life, certainly in the Middle East, but, but there. Um, and we are helping to hold that tent of Abraham, which substantially includes Jews, Muslims, Christians, and Druze, and even others. It's so important to be holding that image and that sense of unity. So I thank all of you for being here and the beautiful meditation that Uta led. And I'm feeling quiet, but I'm feeling fulfilled. And at least we're doing what something beautiful that is appreciated by those on high. Each other. And I know it's making a difference. So Baruch Hashem, thank you very much. Have a happy Thanksgiving for those who are
This is uh, Elisabetta from Rome, Italy. Uh, what it was just kind of an injunction. Be peace. To be peace. And involve. Elisabetta, we cannot hear you very well. Your your microphone is a bit blind. Can you hear me now? Uh, weekly. Bit better. Anyway. Uh, no, it was better. Yeah. What the injunction within was to be peace. All of us invoke the spirit of peace and become transparent vehicles for the peace to flow through us within the body of humanity. And as we do so, just observe, watch, see if any resistance is there within us and work on it through love and light. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually so simple. Also what struck me in this meditation was, um, um, as Mark was saying, you know, this, um, seeing all these different religions together on and around the Temple Mount, when we look from on high and become aware of the cry for peace of all of them, so they all become one. So in this we can hold this, this picture of unity, even though there's such a horrific strife in the city, but from above to see this, they are, they are all united in their, in their wish for peace. So that's also a simple picture to hold. I want to share, this is Alexander. Um, today's uh, experience was a little bit hectic for me at the beginning because of technology didn't want to cooperate and um, I couldn't start a webinar and uh, um, 
there was problems with Wi-Fi, and so I finally was able to join 10 minutes after the beginning, and I was thinking that, okay, now we'll finally start, and I was so happy to see that the webinar is running. And uh, I, I assume Daniela started, and somehow it worked out, and there was such a sense of serene calmness of the group presence holding the space hmm. and uh, what you just said Uta about that he has holding peace and being peace and uh, for each of us it's uh, it, that power of the group where each is a part of like is a fractal of the group and if each of us holds own peace own space work continues and peace is mm. right thank you yeah, beautiful to to feel this power of the group that we can, as a group, we can hold it so much easier. This stability, this just being in peace, this field of peace. Sometimes it's a lifeline. Yeah. Anyone else would like to share something before we close? I like to say to Ellen and Efrat that we are with you. Feel embraced with love and light. Be strong. Thank you for being there. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, friends, so shalom, salam to everyone until next month. Shalom, salam. Amen. Bye. Bye. Love and peace. Bye. Bye.